welcome back to my channel all right so today i'm just twisting things up you know sometimes you just feel like eating you know something without meat so this chickpeas curry recipe is the bomb so stay tuned All right, let's dive right into it. So right here, I have four cups of chickpeas, also known as garbanzo bean. You can actually, you know, buy the dry one and cook it or get the canned version, whatever you prefer. I have all my ingredients right here. My tricolor peppers, about a quarter of each, about a um, pound of pumpkin. I have some ginger, pimento seeds, garlic, about four cloves of garlic. I have about two tomato, half of onion. That right there is a white sweet potato. I have my coconut oil. I have all purpose seasoning and some chicken seasoning. You can use Easy Spice, which does not have any meat products. That's about a tablespoon of curry powder. You can, and I also added some turmeric. My green seasoning is right there. Salt and pepper, and I have a can of coconut milk, which is about 13.5 ounces. So almost two cups, a little over a cup. I'm gonna heat my skillets on medium heat. Um, well, this is <laughs> nice, like a Dutch skillet. I picked this up at my um, local Caribbean grocery store. All right, so just heating it on medium heat. I'm just gonna toast my curry, not burn, because you don't want the curry to be black. And like I said, this also have um, some turmeric in as well. It gives a little color. All right, so I'm just gonna drop all my ingredients in. And yeah, like I said, you know, about small to medium onion just you know dice up everything nice just toast um the curry for a few minutes i'm just going to toss it with the onion and the garlic for a few minutes and you don't want to burn it like i said because you don't want the curry you know curry will be bitter if it gets too dark i have about three sprigs of scallion that's nicely um chopped and then i'm just going to drop everything in toss it for a few minutes and um the pumpkin um putting it in as well because see with the chickpeas i actually pressured it for about 30 minutes so it's partially cooked but not fully cooked so all these other ingredients i know the pumpkin you know takes probably about 15 to 20 minutes to cook so it'll cook along with the um just add a little bit more coconut oil cook along with the chickpeas in the process okay All right, so I'm just adding my chickpeas in. So like I said, you can, you know, pressure it, then I strain it off, strain the water off. Or you can use two cans of chickpeas, which is equivalent to about three to four cups. But the other ingredients is what's giving it the filler. <laughs> That's why the pot will look, you know. But like I said, I use about four cups of the the boiled chick, the, the cooked chickpeas. All right, so I'm just going to use, I'm going to use all of this coconut milk. I'm just putting some in now and I'll put some again later. And as you can see, um, the white sweet potato, I guess I didn't show and I was dropping it in. Oh, my, it was so good in this. Everything just turned out perfect. Nice vegan recipe, all natural. You know, the season, it was just, everything was just nice and flavorful. All right, something you can, you know, something different you could try. All right, and there goes my green seasoning. That recipe is on my channel. And this is, like I said, the mix all purpose and chicken seasoning. And you can, you know, search for different vegan options. Um, There's plenty out there, even in the Jamaican stores. Like I said, Easy Spice does have chicken seasoning that does not have any chicken or meat products. All right, so I'm just gonna, you know, just toss it, make sure everything, I'm gonna, you know, taste it. Always taste your pot. This is just a guide, what I'm doing. I'm gonna cover it up for about 30 minutes and let it simmer on low to medium heat. And my rice will be cooking in the meantime. So, you know, just get everything ready. I'm frying some plantains over to the side. I got my avocado and my tomato already sliced up, which I'm pairing up with this. So this recipe turned out so good. It was so good. Um, I could actually eat the whole pot. It was definitely flavorful. All right. And um, thank you again for watching. I hope you try it. Tell me how you like it. 
All right, and drop some comments in the comment section. Please make sure you're following me on Instagram at The Rainer's Kitchen. Also, subscribe to my channel um, and hit that notification bell. So as soon as I post another video, you will be notified. Thank you again for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.